What is going on everybody? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you a draft analysis from the PLCL. Now, this is my first draft league that I've done on this channel. Um, and it is the, uh, the first draft league I've ever done and the first draft league I've ever hosted. Um, it is a little cup draft league if you guys did not get that from a PLCL. And uh, today we're gonna talk about the team that I drafted. So we had fourth overall pick in the draft. And obviously my first choice, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick Score Bunny. But cue the Costa Rican, the coach of the Chicago Dragapults, took Score Bunny. So I went with the next available option that I thought was a good idea, which was Grookey, uh, Grookey Gang in the chat. Um, so Grookey for me was a solid choice. Um, obviously Grassy Surge, uh, get a Grassy Seat on it. Acrobatics is gonna come in clutch. Um, grassy glides a thing uh, instant priority gonna hit whatever so I, I just felt Grookey was a very safe strong pick um, and I would have to build a team kind of around that first round draft pick um, major physical swinger is uh, what I see Grookey as put on some defense investments a little bit and you know we have we're gonna we're gonna live some hits so that was the thought for the first round draft pick um, when we went around to our second round, um, on the second round, I was, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, I was seventh on the second round. So, you know, I, Scyther went, Carvana, Sneasel, Volby, Solosis, Cutie Fly. I was like, okay, some, some interesting mons. I need something super fast. Ghastly was still available, so I said, you know what? I'm going to get Ghastly, Ghost Poison, and we're going to bring them on. Um, Ghastly would probably be something I'd have to focus Sash or or you know what I could choice scarf it um, Now little cup is very odd because everything's set to level five So everybody's speed stat, you know when, when you get those top tier mons everyone's speed stat are pretty close So whoever you scarf is gonna be you know the fastest thing on the field So, you know, I can throw a focus sash on it. I can throw a choice scarf on it but Ghastly hits like a truck on the special side, um, getting Shadow Ball, Psychic, um, a lot of stuff like that. So I have a lot of coverage, and I'm hitting a lot of dangerous things with Ghastly. Um, that's the main reason why I picked Ghastly. Grookey was the physical, and Ghastly would be the special. So then we went on to our round number three pick, and I scooped up, uh, I scooped up Daramaka, the uh, Unovan Daramaka. Now I picked. You know Vendaramaka because obviously we need to combat you know other grass types definitely hurt us flying types hurt us and Daramaka was another really strong physically offensive Pokemon that has some good defensive capabilities um, Daramaka gets a wide range of moves a lot of fighting type moves it gets um, some physical psychic moves and like Zen headbutt um, yawn it gets some really interesting stuff so I felt like I could make some pretty decent sets around Daramaka so that is why I picked Daramaka now on to our round four draft pick, Minfu, a solid, fast fighting type Pokemon. Fake out, learns it at level five, which was fantastic. So Minfu would easily just be, okay, that's my fake out mon. I'm gonna, you know, I can throw acrobatics on it, fake out, drain punch, you know, knock off. It's gonna be my 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 serious. Uh, put some mons into check is what um, I look forward for Minfu. You know, U-turn, I can I can come in, fake out, hit a fast U-turn to build that momentum and put in whatever I want to put in against your Pokemon. So that is kind of the reason why I built Minfu to gain the momentum, you know, keep him out. As long as he ain't facing any ghost types, you know, we're, we're pretty set with Minfu. So, but it does get the knockoff for those pesky ghosts and those pesky psychic types. So Minfu overall is a really strong Pokemon, another really physically offensive Mon. So at this point, especially for my round five draft pick, I was like, okay, I need some defensive bulk. So I picked up Swirlix. Swirlix is a fairy type fairy, super, super strong type. Um, obviously only weak to poison and weak to um, steel. So, you know, I had, I had those to worry about in the back. Um, nothing else really on my team puts a poison type into check. Maybe Ghastly if I throw a Psychic on it. Um, Grookey obviously weak to poison as well, but you know, I Swirlix, Swirlix thought process, it's going to survive any one hit at least. 
So, um, Swirlix gets sticky webs. Um, you can run a specially offensive Swirlix with high defense stats. Um, Swirlix gets calm mind. You know, it learns a lot of elemental attacks. So, that's kind of my thought process of why I chose Swirlix. Just because I know it's going to live a hit and it's going to hit something else pretty dang hard. So, Swirlix was a safe bet and we needed that fairy stab for some pesky Pokemon. Um, round number six. I seen the Pokemon free up and I was like, oh my goodness, this is an opportunity. I'm going to go ahead and scoop it up for myself because it's going to be a threat. And that's Abra. Abra is another one of those Pokemon that is stupid fast and hits like a truck, sort of like Ghastly. So I was like, okay, you know, I can throw an energy ball, psychic on there, shadow ball to check other ghost types. Like we can make Abra work. Throw a focus sash on it. Yeah. Are you talking? It's going to, it's going to Oko anything, you know? Dang, if I put a choice specs on it, it's gonna hurt whatever it swings out to, too, which is probably a guaranteed kill in Little Cup. A choice specs, Abra will probably kill anything that's not Focus Ash. And so that's kind of why I was like, okay, Abra is a monster of a threat. It's gonna hurt anything that doesn't hurt it first. So that's kind of the reason why I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick Abra. Um, you know, we, we gotta do some something. Um, unfortunately, the way Little Cup works, you know, you, you put quite a bit of stats into something, you put a little bit of stats into something else, you know, you got to balance out those EVs to, to kind of get the most out of your money is uh, the way I put it. So, Abra's added to the squad, Abra's going to put in some work this season, so we can't wait to see what Abra does for us. Um, the next Mon that I picked was um, a Lowland Diglett. Now that Steel Ground type, pretty interesting typing. Uh, Diglett is super fast, kind of like Ghastly, kind of like Abra, but is physical. So, and you know, Diglett gets a lot of stuff. You know, I can trap people in there with um, Sand Tomb. I can uh, EQ. I can do a lot of stuff with a Lonely Diglett. Um, Shadow Claw for super fast Shadow Claw if I wanted to. Um, it learns Sunny Day for Daramaka. Um, so I was like, okay. A Lonely Diglett is, is a very safe bet, especially with the other Mons that have been picked up around this time. Um, Spritzy was a Pokemon that got picked up early on. An Onix, you know, got picked up. A Litten got picked up. I was like, okay. Uh, a Rally got picked up. Another Rock Ruff, a Hat, uh, Hatina. So I was like, okay. We need something fast. We need something that's gonna hit. We need something that's gonna kill. So I was like, perfect. On the physical side, we got an Alolan Diglett. So we scooped it up, and it is a really really decent mon for our team right now so going on to the next pick number seven number number eight rather number eight we picked up um the old sobble so sobble is very interesting um we can run a physical or a special sobble um obviously holding that scope lens because of the sniper ability um, Sobble gets a lot of moves, especially with that Fell Stinger move. That's going to boost up his physical attack if he knocks out. Um, gets Ice Shard, Aqua Jet, gets a lot of priority moves. So, Sobble is going to be a, a Mon that, you know, I'm going to have to pick and choose when I bring it out to battle. So, Sobble's going to do some work. It, you know, it just got to be against the right opponent. And I think Sobble's really going to shine. So, then up to number nine, we picked up Drillbur. Now, Drillbur obviously being our spinner um, to get some hazards off the field. Um, interesting enough, though, a lot of team members, um, not everybody carries Mons that can set hazards. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, Drillbur can learn Stealth Rock. Drillbur's got uh, Hone Claws. It's got all kinds of stuff to set up with. Drillbur's another one of those Mons that's potentially going to survive any hit. Throw an Assault Vest on him. We got something there. Um, Drillbur is a really tough Mon. And I think we can make it work. Now for our very last pick of the season, we picked up Cherubi. Uh, that chlorophyll ability, we have several mons that can set up Sunny Day to boost up that speed. Um, Weather Ball is the thing. I can use it for, you know, I can throw a Sobble, a fast Sobble on there with some Rain Dances. Um, we can do some work. Um, I believe Swirlix gets Rain Dance. Uh, I think, actually, Swirlix or Minfu get Rain Dance. One of the two do for sure um so yeah we can we can do a lot of stuff with the gosh diggity darn cherubi um we get solar beam we get weather ball we get synthesis we get all kinds of stuff 
So Cherubi is going to be another one of those mods that we have to we have to make work. Um, it's not going to be like a hit the field because Dynamax is not allowed. So setting up weather is going to take a turn, and we have nothing right now that automatically sets weather. So that's unfortunate. Maybe if we would have you know thought about that set earlier early on, we could have uh, built around that a little bit. But Cherubi is going to be interesting. I think it's going to shine a lot more than uh, what we may think it will later on. So yeah, that is the team that I went ahead and picked in the draft. So yeah, I, I'm very excited for you guys. By the time you're watching this, um, I should have already battled Goki Gamer. So we'll see what happens. All right, you guys, if you guys are excited for the PLCO, please smash that like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. Please check out the description. Links to all the other coaches' channels are down below. But with that, everybody, I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here. I will see you guys in the next one.